Okay, so hopefully you completed the 2.6 investigation. Uh, we're gonna start taking a look at what's called the chain rule. So we know a composition function, f of g, is defined as f of x composed of g of x or f of g of x, where f is the outer function and g is the inner function. So for example one, let f of x equal x squared and g of x equal x plus one. Then if I have f of g of x, then I'm going to say that it's going to be f of what g of x is, x plus one, which is, then when I say that f of x is x squared, I'm going to replace that x with x plus one, squared, or when I expand it out, x squared plus two x plus one. If I'm taking g of f of x, then I'm taking g of x squared, and if g of x is equal to x squared plus one, I'm just replacing that x with x squared plus one. So in this case, f of g is not the same as g of f. For example two, it says, if f of x is equal to x squared plus three and g of x is equal to two x plus one, then determine it the derivative of f of g. So what we're gonna do with this is I'm gonna say that this, the derivative of f of g of x should be the same as if I took the derivative of f of g of x. So if I know that's true, then I'm going to say that f of g of x is just the same as the f of g of x, just like in the previous example, which is the same as f of g of x is gonna be two x plus one. And then when I sub that in for my f of x, that's gonna give me two x plus one squared plus three. Or when I expand it out, then I know that my f of g of x is actually 4x squared plus 4x plus 4. Well, we know how to take the derivative of this. If I take the derivative of what f of g of x is, which we already know is 4x squared plus 4x plus 4, and we're taking the derivative of that, then that's just going to equal 8x plus 4, or we can pull out a common factor of 4 and get 4, 2x, plus one. Now the questions we're gonna be working with will not always be as straightforward as this. So we have to create a proper formula for finding derivatives of composite functions. When both f and g are differentiable, then so is their composition f of g. The derivative of f of g is the product 
of the derivative of the outer function, f evaluated at g of x, and the derivative of the inner function evaluated at x. Which means that the chain rule states that if I'm taking the derivative of f of g of x, then that's going to be the same as the derivative of f of g of x multiplied by just the derivative of g of x. Remembering that this is going to be the outer shell, and this is going to be the inner shell. Now, to note, this rule implies that we work from the outside in. We di differentiate f first, and then we're going to differentiate the g. So the outer shell, then the inner shell. If we're putting in it in Leibniz notation, if u is equal to g of x and y is equal to f of u, then the composite function g and f is y is equal to f of u, which is the same as f of g of x. And then we have this formula. If I'm taking the derivative dy over dx, then that's going to equal, I have the outer here, dy over du, which we can see here. And then we're just going to take the derivative of that. And then we're going to take the inner, which is the du over dx, which we can see here. For example three, it says, if f of x is equal to x squared plus 3 and g of x is equal to 2x plus 1, determine the derivative of f of x using the chain rule. So, because we know that we have dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx, and then I'm given the u, and I'm given the y, then remember that this is going to represent the inner, and this is going to represent the outer, which means that dy over dx is going to equal the derivative of the outer, which is just 2u and I'm going to multiply that by the derivative of the inner, the derivative of the 2x plus 1, which is just going to be 2. which means that dy over dx is going to equal 2u times u is just 4u. And if u is 2x plus 1, then that's just 4 2x plus 1s. For example four, it says that we're going to let y equal u to the power of three. So there's my outer. And u is going to equal four x squared minus two x plus five. That's going to be my inner. So, 
if dy over dx is going to equal the derivative of the outer. Well, the derivative of u to the power of 3 is just 3u squared. times the derivative of the inner. If I have 4x squared minus 2x plus 5, then that's going to give me 8x minus 2. This means that I'm actually going to have 3 times, well, we know what u is. u is just 4x squared minus 2x plus 5, and that's going to be squared. And I'm multiplying that by 8x minus 2, which we can factor out a 2 from that and be left with 4x minus 1. I'm going to multiply my coefficients there and I'm actually going to have 6 4x minus 1's and 4x squared minus 2x plus 5 and that's my dy over dx